Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now we're going to do a quick video about the big fight between Arthur Bettebeev and Dimitri Bivol. Did a video yesterday or the day before saying that uh, Dimitri Bivol is different. After this fight, which Arthur Bettebeev wins by majority decision, you could still say Dimitri Bivol is different. Now, this was a great fight, you guys. It was, a, a, you know, both guys handled their business. Both guys handled their business. You know, let's talk Arthur Bettebeev first. Arthur Bettebeev, uh, he, he throws some hard punches throughout the fight. Um, you know, he was, he was coming forward most of the fight. He was putting down some hard leather. Uh, I think he was losing the early rounds and he came on towards the end of the fight uh, to come out with a majority win. Uh, you know, Arthur Bedebeev is now 21 and old with 20 knockouts and he's the undisputed light heavyweight champion. A bad, bad boy, Arthur Bedebeev. Really? Now, Dimitri Bivol is special. Dimitri Bivol won the fight as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go back and watch it again, not being so tired as I was. Um, I'm going to go back and check it out again. But from what I scored, he, he won the fight. I'm going to score it again before I even say the score I had, but I had better be of one, uh, Bivol winning. And for Bivol to be able to deal with that kind of pressure, he had to show some talent. And he did. This is a fight, guys, where both guys stock rolls both of them it's an awesome fight both of them you have nothing to say i'll just say this about better be of and i know i shouldn't but i'm gonna say it anyway i would not be surprised if you found out better be was on steroids or something that's how good he looked and i'm just saying because of the simple fact of one or the other you're gonna probably be have some volume punches all the way to the end of the fight or power but you just a couple of punches a la Canelo. Canelo throws also power punches, but it ain't going to be in no damn volumes. And he's got Clembuterol in his system. Clembuterol. Better be up throws hard punches all the way throughout with a whole lot of volume. His endurance is ridiculous. So, you know, in boxing, because boxing is the wild, wild west, you can ask that question. You know, like, damn, dude, you got to be on steroids or just really, really awesome. So we're going to just give him really, really awesome that's what we're going to give Better Be Up. Because we ain't heard nothing different. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's awesome. But be bold to show the world how awesome he is. I think the general consensus is, you know, I, I, I would probably, from what I've heard so far, 60-40, think that Bivol won the fight. If not 65-35. That's awesome to do that against Better Be Up. You see what I'm saying? You're in the fight and people think you won. You outboxed somebody who's coming at you with athleticism, a whole lot of everything, right? Everything, athleticism, power, skill. You know, and for Bivol to, to withstand that and to bring it bring it back at him, throwing combinations, you know, and you, a lot of people won't even throw no combinations against somebody who hits as hard as a uh, better be of. You leave, you be throwing single punches, but to throw combinations back at him, it's, it's, man, these guys, they, that was um, good for boxing, that fight. Yeah, we should have a rematch. We don't like the scoring, uh, you know, but when it's a close fight, most of the times, you know, you're going to not be uh, happy with the scoring. I, I wasn't. Um, it would either be a draw or for Bivol, as far as I'm concerned, but I like Bivol more, right? That's why I'm going to go back and see if I'm wrong. I'm going to go back and see if I'm wrong and holler at you again. But I'm going to say this, too, before I roll out of here. If they put both of these guys in the top five pound for pound, I would not have a problem with it. You take Bam Bam Rodriguez up out of there and Javante Davis up out of there. Right? Put them, both of them, right behind the top three. And we know who that is. You know, 1A and 1B with Uzik and Terrence Crawford and, and the monster, Inui. You put both of them up there. Right? Both of them. Right? Four and five. I would have no problem with that whatsoever. Would you? We'll holler later. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.